In this video, we're going to discuss OSPF designated routers or DRs and backup designated routers or BDRs. This is one of multiple videos. And in this first video, let's see if we can answer some basic questions. In this topology, how many designated routers are there? In other words, how many DRs will be elected in this topology? Second question, how many backup designated routers or BDRs are there in this topology? And thirdly, how many DR others or druthers are there in this topology? So can you answer how many DRs, how many BDRs, how many DR others? are there in this topology. Notice that router one, router two, router three, and router four are connected to a layer two switch. There's no configuration on the switch. Router four is connected to router five via a serial link, and router five is connected to router six via an ethernet link. How many DRs, how many BDRs, how many DR others? So let's configure the topology and find out. In this topology, I've only configured IP addresses. I haven't configured OSPF. So on router one, show IP protocols. OSPF is not configured. Let's paste a basic OSPF configuration onto the router. We've enabled OSPF on all interfaces on the router. Show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on gigabit 00. Current state is wait. That's this link here. Gigabit 00 is the link to the switch. After a while, the state should change, but the router waits to see if other routers are configured on the same segment. In this example, the router has become the designated router that would make sense because there are no other routers configured on the layer two switch. On router two, show IP protocols. OSPF is not currently running. Paste the OSPF config in. Neighbor relationship has been established and the state has gone to full. Show IP OSPF neighbor, we can see that router 2 has formed a relationship with router 1. Router 1 is the DR. A full relationship exists to that router. Show IP OSPF interface brief shows us that the local router is a backup designated router. What about router 3? Show IP protocols. OSPF is not currently enabled on this router, so I'll paste in the configuration. The router has formed two neighbor relationships, one with router one, one with router two. So show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on the local gigabit 00 interface. The router is a DR other. In other words, OSPF is running on this interface, gigabit 00. Router 3 has become a DR other or drother. Show IP OSPF neighbor. Two neighbor relationships exist. One to router 1, who is the DR. Another to router 2, which is the BDR. Notice full relationship, which means that routes are exchanged between these routers. So router 3 will synchronize its OSPF database with router 1 and router 2. Okay, so router four, show IP protocols. OSPF is not enabled on this router. The output is different here because this router is running version 12.4 of iOS, whereas these other routers are running 15.6. They are iOS V routers, whereas this router is a C3725 router. So IP protocol shows no routing protocols. I'll enable OSPF on all interfaces on this router. Show IP 
OSPF interface brief. This router is acting as a DR other on the fast ethernet interface and it has a point to point connection on the serial interface. We can see that a relationship was formed to router two and router one. So show IP OSPF neighbor. It only forms a full relationship with router one and router two. In other words, the DR and the BDR. It does not form a full relationship with router three. On router three, we should see something similar. Previously, router three had a full relationship with router one and router two. It still has that, but it has a two-way relationship or half formed relationship with router four. So on this ethernet segment, we have one DR. Will a DR and BDR be elected on this link? So let's test that. Here's router five. Show IP protocols. No protocols are running. Let's enable OSPF. Show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on the serial interface as well as the fast ethernet interface of router five. So it's running here and here. Currently it's set to wait on fast ethernet. It's point to point on the serial. Notice, still point to point on the serial. Show IP OSPF neighbor. This router has a full relationship to router four, but we don't have an election. OSPF DR and BDI elections do not take place on serial point to point links. So on router four, once again, it's formed a full relationship to router five, but no election took place on the serial link. On the serial interface, there was no election. An election did take place on the ethernet link, and therefore we have a DR, BDR, and in this example, another DR other. So on this part of the network, the switch, we have a designated router elected. No designated router was elected on the serial link. What about on this ethernet link between router five and router six? So back on router five, notice router five became the designated router on this segment because there are no other routers running OSPF on that segment. So if we enable OSPF on router six, what happens? Show IP OSPF interface brief. Router six has become a BDR. It's formed a relationship with router five. Show IP OSPF neighbor. We can see that router five is the designated router, full relationship between router six and router five. Router six is the BDR. So in answer to the questions, how many DRs are elected in this topology? Answer is two. How many? BDRs are elected in this topology? The answer is two. Router one and router five are designated routers. Router two and router six are backup designated routers or BDRs. Router three and router four on this segment are DR others. So what you need to know is that a designated router is elected on a per segment basis but only on broadcast multi-access or non-broadcast multi-access links. In other words, links or interfaces where you can have more than one router connected to that single segment or single subnet. So as an example, if we added another link between router one and router four, we would end up seeing that one of these routers is the designated router on this segment. And to show you that a router can be a DR as well as a BDR or DR other, what I'll do is no shut the link on router four first and configure router four first so that it becomes the DR on that link. So show IP OSPF interface brief. On fast ethernet zero one, we're in the wait state 
So it's waiting for another router. Might take it a while. So while we're doing that, let's configure an IP address on router one, but I won't no shut the interface. So that interface is shut. I'll configure an IP address on the interface, but I won't no shut it yet. Notice router four has become the designated router on this segment. So now on router one, I'll no shut the interface, show IP OSPF interface brief. Relationship is formed. And when I press enter now, we can see that router one is a backup designated router on gigabit zero one. So we've changed the topology slightly. Now we have a designated router, which is router one over here, a designated router here, which is router four, and a designated router here, which is router five. Router six is a backup designated router on this segment. On this layer two segment, router two is a backup designated router. And on this segment, router one is a backup designated router. So notice on router one, it's a designated router on one segment and a backup designated router on another segment. Designated routers, backup designated routers are chosen on a per segment basis, but only on multi-access networks or segments. I hope you found the video useful. If you enjoyed it, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.